Here we are again. This one's a fairly straightforward, fairly quick hitter, but I mean, that's the whole purpose of these videos, right? So you've got your vectors in there, you've assigned tool paths, you've messed with the parameters, and you have now previewed it, and you have basically done the steps that need to happen in order to start saving files so that you can start carving files. You can see how these are getting repetitive, right? So this little button right here is your save tool path. You can click on that guy. Not a ton of options, not super complex. The basics of it are you can have the selected toolpath, which will save a singular toolpath on its own to a singular file. You can do visible toolpath to one file. So anything that has a check mark is considered visible. So you can have multiple paths to a single file. Or you can save visible toolpaths to multiple files. So, you know, you can click and they would save them out individually. I haven't really used that third option. Basically, I don't think I've ever used it if I'm being totally honest. The first two are typically where I'm at and if I'm being totally honest, I use visible toolpaths to one file because it works for singular and I guess plural in this case. <laughs> uh, the only asterisk beside the visible toolpaths to one file is they need to be the same bit. Uh, if one of these were a different bit, it would not allow you to do that. An error would pop up here saying you have two files, two bits, different bits. You can't do that. So you'd have to either change your bit or save them out individually. And that's about it. So you will set up your machine. Hopefully it's a long mill and hopefully you've gone through the process of setting it up and you've got your bench top 30 by 30 in here. You can obviously change your machine configuration with this little tabby guy right here. I'm not going to get into that. Post-processor inch or millimeter, depending on what unit of measure you like to use, you will select, I'm an inch guy, so I'm gonna save it. That's what the file's set up as, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna hit save toolpaths. Select your location, name it. You can see that it's giving me gerbil or gerbil at inch, cause that's what I selected. I'm gonna hit save. It already exists. Well, I wanna save over it then. And that is it for saving toolpaths. Again, super straightforward. I don't think there's anything else to really hit on, but in case you weren't familiar with, now you know what you can do. You can do one, you can do two, and we're going to keep on trucking with this video series. And again, make sure you're liked and subscribed and linked and all the things. And tell the world how wonderful we are if you think we're doing a good job, because I feel like we're doing a good job, but ultimately you guys are the ones who really decide. So we'll see you in the next one. See you soon.